was just a trick to get me out of the cell, wasn't it? Why would I do that? I guess I was wrong, sorry. You know, you know, you are really getting paranoid. Any more of this and they're gonna transfer you to the psycho ward of this lovely resort. What happened? Make the spits walk in so as Dorian got in there. Oh, damn! We'll get it eventually. So, how do I look? Any more eyeshadow and, uh, they can stick you in a vase. <laughs> huh? Jeannie, did you hear what happened? I know, I know. But maybe later, huh? During the social, when things get really social, we can slip away, go back in there? I can't do that. I promised the girls I'd give the warden the petition. But Dorian, if the tape is your ticket out of here... Jeannie, maybe you can do it for me. You know, present the petition, please. I told you, Dorian, I'm getting out of here soon. I... Jeannie, listen to me. That... Tape has evidence that could get me out of here. I can't stay in this place for a crime I didn't commit. It's gonna kill me. I know the feeling. All right, I'll do it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Petition. Listen, are you sure that uh, Susan is going? I mean, it doesn't look like she's doing anything to make herself look any better. Oh, I'll go make sure. Oh, by the way, the tape is under the mattress. Mr. Muscle's gonna faint when he sees me? Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> if he can see you underneath all that makeup, honey, really, pal, let's, uh, let's lighten it up a bit, all right, pal? Um, do you mind? Just take this off. Just take a little bit of that eyeshadow and blend it, a teeny bit. Lipstick, not bad, but blot. All right, this is Mr. Muscles. Huh? I mean, what's he in for, do you know? Armed robbery. Oh, the two of you have a lot in common to talk about. Not only that, he's managed to steal my heart, so I know he's good at his trade. Not that good, or he wouldn't be in here. <laughs> you know, you'll be sorry if you miss tonight. You won't get another chance to see a man for four months. The only man I ever cared about is dead. Well, what about his, um, teachings? Don't you want to convert a few more souls over to God? I guess you're right. I should go. That's what we're doing. Coming! Hello, I'm Vicki Buchanan. Oh, hi. Come on in. Thank you. Well, this is your house anyway, so of course you can come in. Please, have a seat. Thank you. I really just wanted to meet you and your father. Oh, well, he's not here right now, but he should be back pretty soon. It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Mary Lynn Dennison. Mary Lynn, it's very nice to meet you. You know, something you look so familiar. Are you sure we haven't met somewhere before? No. Oh, um, well, you might have seen me on TV or in the papers or... Maybe even at the Waterside Inn. Oh. You were one of Miss Lawrence's disciples. Yeah. I'm really ashamed of that now. But I was pretty taken in at the time. I hope you can forget that. Well, of course I can. It was a very unfortunate mistake, and thank heavens it's all behind you now. Anyway, I would love to get to know you and your father a bit better. Anyway, we're having a party tonight, and I thought if you were free, maybe you could come. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. My husband, Clint, he told me all about your father, how he's working for us at the Banner now. And, my goodness, here you are at the carriage house. Come and meet some friends. Well, I'll tell my dad that you invited us, and I really hope that we can come. Good, good. Listen, I'm afraid I have to get back. My 10-year-old son is having his own birthday party before we have our party tonight, so I've got to go. But I hope we see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye, and thank you. Okay. Life to live will continue in a moment. Dad, I've been waiting for you to come home. Guess what? what? Vicky Buchanan dropped by. Really? 
That's a surprise. And not only that, she invited us to a party this evening. Can we go? Well, just a minute, sweetheart. Did she mention that Clint told her that it's possible I might be Joe Riley's twin? Well, uh, she said that Clint told her all about you, so we must have. And she really wants us to come, and she's very nice, so can we go? Well, honey, I'm not sure that's a good idea. After all, this is her first night back. She wouldn't have come over if she didn't want us there. You're very anxious to go to this soiree, aren't you? Huh? Well, yeah. You know, get dressed up, see the house. Maybe there'll be some kids there my own age. Mm -hmm. Well, I certainly want to speak with Victoria Buchanan, and if she knows I, I look almost exactly like her ex-husband, uh, why not? All right, let's get ready. I got a sneak preview of that nursery a couple of days ago, and I bet you that she can't wait to get out of there and get up there. Well, neither can I, quite frankly. <laughs> hey, here's a newlywed! Oh! Hey, we're back! We're back! Oh, it was wonderful! Oh, it was so fabulous, I can't tell you. Central Africa is so breathtaking. It was a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Oh, yeah, and the safari, uh, we took a million pictures, at least. Well, I hope you didn't have time to get them developed yet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we want to see them. You have to bring them over. We'd love to see them. Oh, no, that's a true friend. Gosh, Vicky, gosh, you, you blossom. <laughs> yes, yes, I have. I feel about ready to drop right off the bat. Oh, and I tell you, I have to tell you, you have to help yourselves to the buffet and the drinks and everything. We're very informal tonight, okay? Uh, oh, so, okay. You bet. That away. Oh, thank you. Good. Oh, there she is. Asa! Oh! The mother of my new grandson. Oh, Asa, welcome. Where's Pamela? Oh, didn't uh, Clint tell you? No, what? Well, she's been uh, kind of missing her father. He's going to pay him a visit, but uh, she sends a love, and she's real sorry she couldn't be here. Oh, well, I'm sorry, too. Do you feel as great as you look? Not quite. <laughs> and Vicky? Dan! <laughs> oh, Dan, I can't believe uh, it! I just missed you before I left. I told you about a surprise, huh? Yeah, but I never dreamed it would be your son who finally made his way home. And I'm here to stay. I got the traveling bug out of my system. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, damn. Slowly but surely, this whole family is getting back together. Did you see the daggers a certain jealous husband was throwing my way? Did I miss it? You just don't let it get to you, all right? Nothing would please me more. <laughs> Oh, what I can't tell you. I just loved the native African dress. I got so inspired. I can I can hardly wait to get started on some new designs. You see that? She goes on her honeymoon and she sees the world with all with different eyes. It's like creativity just comes rushing in. Well, I think that Rafe is the best thing that ever happened. Oh, boy. Hey, Wanda, Sammy was so excited to see us this morning. I oh, my favorite. Hey, 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 he's talking about how terrific we are. Oh, yeah. Listen, how have you heard from Bo? Got a note from Bo. Dear Pa. Send me a bowl of chili. Getting tired of fish heads and rice. Love your son, Bo. Is that what he said? Are you kidding? Nope. So, that's the story. Dad decided to keep me after all. Of course he did. Well, it's good having him back. I'll bet it is. I'm sorry that we didn't know you were coming. I would have invited somebody for you. As it is, you're just stuck with the old married folks. Oh, well. <laughs> well, you could run upstairs and uh, spend some time with a bunch of rambunctious 10-year-old at Kevin's, uh, Kevin's party. As a matter of fact, we brought a present. Should we just take it up there to Kevin? Of course, of course. There's never too many presents, you know. <laughs> hey, that's for sure. Oh, honey, Wanda's waving. Oh, excuse me. I'll see you again. Yeah, I know. I'll see you. One, one, one. Are you going to be bored? I mean, we're not having a date. Well, I told you, Dad. Allison didn't feel right in coming. Yeah, well, Allison's not the only young lady in town. Well, Dad, you're not going to tell me who to date, are you? No, Dan, of course not. I'm very pleased with the way Allison's getting her life together, but I just think that before you get too serious, maybe you should date other young ladies. Look, Dad, if I want to date people other than Allison, I will. Now, why don't you take uh, Kevin's present up? I'll see you later, okay? Wait a bit. Vicky, you're home. Anna. Oh, look at you. You're as big as a house. Thank you so much, darling. Lord, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome, Maria. Welcome. Welcome back. Well, Thank I tell you. you, Vicky, we are so happy to have you back here. But not half as happy as this man right here. Well, things are perfect again. 